Hello there. Um, this time I use a wooden fan to create this project. Uh, first, I use gel medium to glue all the parts together so the fan will not close, it will stay open. And I let it dry the gel medium completely before working. After that, I just cover the fan with white gesso so it will make a great base to paint the fan. After that, so now it's dry, we can paint it. I choose a um, velvet medium by Art Anthology called Rose to cover entirely the fan. This type of paint is not a full coverage paint, it's really medium, so you can a little bit see through. That's why I cover the fan with gesso before starting. So you can see that uh, the paint add like um, an even coat because of the stroke of the brush and it gives a little I don't know, a vintage look or something. After that, I uh, apply another color. It's teal from the Patina set from Art Anthology with another uh, project from Art Anthology. It's a stencil and it's called Flora Tiles. I choose to apply the medium with a sponge because with a knife or a brush, the thickness of the paint will be too much, so the sponge was perfect. I wanted to add a lot of embellishment to this fan, so I choose some metal one, some flower, paper flower, and I made some with uh, air dry clay and I covered everything with white gesso so it will be easier to paint after that. While it's drying I continue to use stencil on my fan and with some mud paste I use the cherry blossom stencil to add some dimension to my fan. Now it needs some color so I use the seafoam stone uh, from the patina set by Art Anthology. It gives um, both color and texture because um, it's a sandy texture and the, the color was perfect. So I choose this one and I cover every branch of the cherry blossom with it. Once dry, I took the copper from the patina set and I covered the cherry blossom with a lot more of paint on the branches and just soft touches on the flower.
you had to the vintage look, I used the copper on the edge of the fan, sometimes using my finger to smear a bit of the, the paint and it gave a, a beautiful look. I like to arrange my embellishment before gluing it so uh, I can have a complete picture of what it's going to be. And once I'm happy with the, the arrangement, I can glue everything. Once dry, I took my rose velvet again and paint some of the embellishment and I chose there to paint mostly flower and button with this color. Don't hesitate to apply a second or a third coat of paint. It will add more deeper color to your embellishment. I took the teal uh, medium from the patina set to paint the other embellishment, mostly the, uh, the metal one. And now touches of copper to add to the old look, the vintage look. Uh, so it seems that the metal embellishment are, you know, um, oxide. It seemed to me that something was missing and I realized that I need to outline the cherry blossom uh, branches and flower to make that pop from the fan. So I just use a brown pen to do so. That was the final touch. The fan is complete. I hope you like it.